Got the rear springs out. Another part of this project was the owner said when he has passengers in the back seat, the tire is rubbing on the fender here. So I'm gonna fabricate a spacer that will rest up in this perch here and get us a little extra preload on that spring when it's sitting at ride height. So if he has three or four people in the car, it won't be a problem anymore. I also noticed that the sway bar end links are pretty trashed when I took those out. So we will order some new sway bar end links. I'm sure the other side is in the same shape. Always take care when you take apart an independent rear suspension where you have a lot of adjustment to mark the camber bolts on the back here. I took care to do that. I don't know what this white mark is. I don't know that was a factory setting. It wasn't lined up with anything. So I marked black here and you can't see it, but behind there I also marked black too. When we put it back together, we'll know right where it goes as a starting point because the new ride height will necessitate a new alignment. For the spacer, uh, I got my CAD here, my cardboard aided design. I uh, drew up what I'm going to make. The inside diameter of the spacer is four inches. The outside diameter is five and a half inches. The existing perch there, uh, you can see it in there, is a three and a half inch diameter outside. So we drew up here, we'll have three and a half inches bottom, three and three quarter on the top inside diameter so it'll slide right over the existing perch. I know what you're thinking, uh, Mike, how is this going to fit with a four inch hole? Well, we will put a flange here that will go out to five inches. I'll order a plate to fab that up between the two. Um, we'll probably start with adding, I don't know, an inch or an inch and a half, set it on the ground and see how that looks. And we can trim some off if we need to.